That was Corey Rezenke with Jesus Paid It All. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to what Solomon had to say when he found, or when he wrote uh, Proverbs 25, 11. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pitchers of silver. So basically what he is saying is, when you give a word, an encouraging word, a truthful word, a loving word at the right time, in the right manner, in the right place, it is going to have a very positive effect. It could actually change the life and direction of a person that you're speaking to. So it is very important that you and I measure how we speak when the matter in which we speak, and also the fact that we speak always in love. It is an important issue because words can hurt, words can break, words can actually destroy someone's life. But when we choose to walk in the love of God, we know that, of course, our speech is very, very important. And so always look for the positive. Always look for the opportunity to be able to give someone a fitly word. Just like it says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. So today, when you're out and about, and if you see something encouraging, encourage that person. If you see someone doing something that is nice, then speak up to them and compliment them. If you have a friend and you are able to compliment them and encourage them, then obviously there is something that you can do. Also as well, when you have the opportunity that uh, you may want to say something negatively, Fight the impulse and choose rather not to say anything because sometimes the best words are no words at all. Either way, we need to put a doorman at, the, uh, at our mouth and say, Lord, help me not to sin against you. Remember, your words can heal or your words can hurt. It just depends on your motivation and also as well, it depends on whether or not you want to be that type of person. So remember, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pitchers of silver. Now we have for you right now, Maranatha with Jesus, your name. 